Welcome to Briars Music Showcase, I'm Briars Narrows, and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to be going over or showcasing some of my soundtrack albums. Now this was an idea I had for quite a bit. I actually had this idea on a poll not too long ago and it got last place. Uh, but I said at some point I would get to it and I thought, eh, I'm in the mood for it. So here we are. So these are all the soundtrack albums I have on CD. I don't have any on vinyl, but just CDs for now. So I surprisingly have a good amount of soundtrack albums, a lot more than I thought I did. And who, who knows, there's probably some I'm missing, honestly, because I was just kind of just looking through the whole collection. And I'm like, and I, sometimes I forget about a certain soundtrack that I own. Um, I'll go more in depth as we go along. But of course, if you are a fan of soundtrack albums, please give the video a like. And of course, comment below some of your favorite soundtrack albums. So I'm just going to get started right now. So let's just jump into it. Also, one more thing, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Anyhow, oop, something fell over there. <laughs> I'm leaving this in. Uh, but anyhow, so first up, these are, this is probably my oldest soundtrack album. Well, in terms of old, mainly due to the fact that the original soundtrack album came out in the 40s. These CDs probably came out in the 80s, obviously. So first up, we have an animated soundtrack. We have Fantasia. So the Disney film, and it came in two separate jewel cases. Remember, remember that time where two discs came in two separate jewel cases? Personally, I'm kind of glad they don't do this anymore. Uh, but regardless, um, so this is disc one right here, and here is disc two. It just says so on the top. So of course, if you know Fantasia, you obviously know that it's a it's one of Disney's animated f p features, and was mainly just a kind of a vignette sort of film where you have an orchestra kind of providing the sound providing the music to whatever the animated short was playing um for its time definitely groundbreaking for the animation um obviously if you're animation nuts um you're definitely gonna love the visual aspects of things uh but if you love classical music then of course this is gonna be one that's gonna be that's gonna i don't know, tickle that fancy i guess i don't know <laughs> Uh, I'm st it's still morning, hence why I'm still delirious. Um, but anyhow, of course, it has, it has lots of classical classics like on here. Um, so yeah, if you're into, if you like classical, maybe give this a listen. Some good stuff. Now, these next three are part of this. Are basically by the same artist. So of course, we all know the Beatles, and. I, it'll be, it will shock me if some people didn't know that of course the Beatles made movies and of course here is probably their f the soundtrack to their first feature and we have of course The Hard Day's Night which also serves as their third studio album uh, so half of it is part of the movie the other half is just a bunch of uh, standalone songs that had nothing to do with the movie but it was just enough to have it on the fit the fit an album so Obviously, what's good about the back is that if it's star, that tells you it was part in the movie. So the songs that were in A Hard Day's Night were the title track, I Should Have Known Better, uh, If I Fell, um, I'm Happy Just to Dance With You, and I Love Her, Tell Me Why, and Can Buy Me Love. So yeah, and then the, again, the rest of the album is just a bunch of standalone. Um, but of course, definitely probably my favorite of the early period. This or the next one could be my favorite of the early period, but again, it has this very great cover uh, with the, all these photos of, of the band here. Very nice, of course. And then you have their second film that they did, and that is, of course, Help. Again, the first half has some, has the first half, the first seven songs are in the movie. The other half are a bunch of standalone songs. Of course, the ones that were in the movie were Help, The Night Before, You've got to hide your love away. I need you. Another girl. You're going to lose that girl and take it to ride. Then, like I said, the second half has a bunch of standalone. Most notably, the most notable one of the standalone songs is Yesterday. Of course, one of Paul's classic songs that he wrote. Absolutely beautiful song. And it's good that it actually comes with a little, some photos of the film right there. Very very nice. I'm pretty sure there's more in the booklet. 
I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get this pretty quickly. There's them running on the beach. Let's see what other good photos are worth showing. I think I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm not. There's just Ringo just standing there. There's them in, in the mountains, snowy mountains. Again, just snapshots of the film. Let me just see the Hard Day's Night real quick, actually. Let me see if that, that one came with photos. So here's Hard Day's Night again. Let's see. Really? Doesn't come with any photos? This is what you get on the back, so I guess it's something, but eh. That's what you get with a lot of these early, uh, these early CD packaging. Okay, let me just put this away. And then we will continue, but of course, that is help. Okay, next up, another soundtrack that they did for a film that probably isn't that good. Uh, we have Magical Mystery Tour. Yeah, again, started out as a EP, but then in America, it basically became a full album, and now it's canon. Um, of course, you have the Magical Mystery Tour, Who on the Hill, I Am the Walrus, Hello Goodbye, uh, uh, let's see, Penny Lane, all, all that sort of thing, all the great songs that we know. There's the back. See, let's see if this one has any photos. Okay, you got this. This is, I think, I believe this is, looks like it's part of the I Am the Walrus section. And that's all you get. So there you go. Not much to say on this one. Now they do have another one. We have Yellow Submarine. Sadly, I don't own it. But I just want to acknowledge that and also make up for it by wearing my yellow submarine shirt. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that was good enough. All right. Next up, we have Queen next. Now, Queen actually did a couple soundtracks, two mostly. Uh, this is probably one of the most well known of their soundtracks, and that, of course, is Flash Gordon. Uh, you know, it's uh, I have not, I don't have much to say about it. I mean. If you're a fan of Flash Gordon, then of course, the, I mean, the, the I mean, the theme song to Flash Gordon is pretty good. But then you get the rest, which is kind of like you know, a bunch of instrumental pieces for the film. Not really something you'll listen to on a, on a regular basis. But yeah, I just got it just to be a completist. Now Queen did do another soundtrack, but this one's a weird one because it's similar to the Beatles where it's half studio, half soundtrack, half studio. Um, of course, you have a kind of magic. Which was, I believe, their 12th studio album. And again, like I said, some of these songs were part of the film, like A Kind of Magic, um, Who Wants to Live Forever, Give Me the Prize, Don't Lose Your Head, Princess of the Universe. Those songs were for the film. The rest is, again, a bunch of standalone songs. Um, oh, oh, yeah. One Year of Love is also part of the film. Um, but, yeah. Okay, next. Elvis Presley with Blue Hawaii. Of course, if you see if you've seen an Elvis movie, you already know what you already know what this is about. Uh, but again, not much to say. It's just a bunch of songs for the film. It definitely has that Hawaiian aesthetic. And I mean, the main reason why I got this was solely just so I can have "I Can't Help Falling in Love," which is a beautiful song, one of my favorite Elvis songs. But yeah, the rest of this album, if I'm going to be honest. Eh. No, I'm not that interested. All right, I'm not really going in by. In, I'm not going in any order, by the way. I'm just kind of just pulling what comes first. Uh, next up, Prince with Purple Rain. Movie is okay, is not bad, but the soundtrack definitely steals the show. I mean, so many fantastic songs, of course, like "Let's Go Crazy," "Take Me With You." Uh, the beautiful ones, Darling Nikki, When Doves Cry, I Would Die For You, and of course you have the title track, of course, just a classic 80s power ballad sort of song. Yeah, 
and it's probably my favorite Prince album, honestly. And I know there's probably others, but that's all I have. All right, here's a classic musical. We have Grease. Of course, you have John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Rest in peace to her. Yep, of course. Who has not seen Grease? Come on. Come on. What is wrong with you? <laughs> but yeah, one of the classic musicals of the 70s. It was, yeah, it was 70s. Some aspects probably hasn't aged that well, but you know, it that was it was well it came out in the 70s but takes place in the 50s if I'm not mistaken. Different times. But the music still stands up, holds up pretty well, I think. Alright, next we have the original motion picture soundtrack album to Jesus Christ Superstar. Now I do, of course, own the original album. Hopefully you can See it back there. It might be hard to see because it's kind of dark. Uh, but here is the soundtrack film the, for the movie that came out in '73. Um, it's basically the same album as the original, except it's movie. This the movie form. Come out. Comes comes in these discs. And there's Ted Neely right there as Jesus. Some solid performances here. Obviously, I'm gonna prefer the album version. Of course, but I think the people on this that film did a solid job. I mean, Ted Neely is probably definitely a standout. Um, Carl Anderson as Judas was pretty good. Yvonne Elliman, who was on the album, uh, returns as Mary Magdalene. Yeah. So, show it real quick. There's some photos from the film. And here's some more on the back here. This whole collage. I mean, I've seen clips of the movie. I haven't seen the whole thing, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's of the time. All right, next. This is another film I have yet to see, but maybe at some point. Footloose. Of course, we have Kevin Bacon, of course. Uh, you know, this is basically one of those jukebox type of soundtracks where it's a bunch of songs. A couple of them are for the film. The rest are just a bunch of other songs. Um, of course, you have the title track by Kenny Loggins. Of course, that's a very popular song. You still hear it from time to time. Uh, well, uh, you have a duet with Mike Reno from Loverboy and Ann Wilson of Heart. They do a they do a duet called Almost Paradise. Kind of, kind of cool. Uh, they include a Bonnie Tyler song, "Holding On for a Hero," "Holding Out for a Hero," uh, another Kenny Loggins song with "I'm Free," Sammy Hagar. Surprisingly, that's kind of surprising. Sammy Hagar sings "The Girl Gets Around." Uh, let's see, and then you have "Never," the band "Never," and the song. Actually, no, the band's called Moving Pictures, and the song's called "Never," which of course is played during the whole Kevin Bacon dancing in that factory sort of scene. Um, but yeah. There's photos on the back, of course. All right, Top Gun from the, the original Top Gun from the 80s. Again, another another film I've yet to see, but of course has Danger Zone, which of course I've heard. Uh, Lover Boy, once again, has a song. You have uh, Heaven in Your Eyes, Cheap Trick with the song Mighty Wings. And probably the biggest song on here is is Berlin with Take My Breath Away, which is a great 80s ballad, I think. Uh, and yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. Tom Cruise. All right, next, this is another film I've, I haven't seen, uh, The Woman in Red, of course, starring Gene Wilder. And I don't, and don't know the other actress's name, sadly. Uh, but this was actually done by Stevie Wonder. And, of course, and also Dionne Warwick is on here as well. Uh, very good, even though I have not seen, I don't, I don't even know the movie is actually good, but the music on here is fantastic, is really nice. Um, the, the title track is really nice. Uh, Dionne Warwick and Stevie do a couple duets on um, It's You. Um, of course, another big reason why I got this was solely because it has the song I just called to say I love you, which I hear some people aren't a fan of that one. I'm like, 
Come on. Lighten up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Love, Love, Light, and Flight. What a great song that is. And yeah, just the rest is pretty solid. So I actually don't mind this album. I know there are some people who don't like this era of CV Wonder, but what? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> okay, next. Here's a classic soundtrack. Now, this one I have seen. Of course, we got to talk about Saturday Night Fever. Of course, you got the Bee Gees um, and a bunch of other people on here. Movie. Actually, I actually do kind of like the movie. <laughs> but, uh, of course, same with, similar with Purple Rain. The soundtrack really steals the show. Really showcases the time period of the disco craze. Of course, it starts out with Staying Alive. I mean, come on. Classic. Um, How Deep Is Your Love. Probably one of my favorite songs ever. Just a beautiful ballad. Uh, Night Fever, More more Than a Woman, like those first four songs are like some of the Bee Gees' most well-known songs ever. Um, Yvonne Elliman, once again, makes an appearance with uh, If I Can't Have You. Uh, great song. Then you know, there's a lot of some instrumentals, of course. Um, you have more Bee Gees songs with Jive Talking and You Should Be Dancing. Uh, the Tramp with Disco Inferno, pretty good song. Um, yeah Let's see who else is there KC and the Sunshine Band are on here as well so of course classic 70s disco film I guess all right here next up we have some of my animated soundtracks from from animated films here we have Hercules again quite a bit of Disney on here again great soundtrack one of one of my favorite disney films honestly i mean the soundtrack is just banging you ha it's basically a bunch of gospel lots of gospel influence on here because you know it's dealing with greek gods so it makes sense to have a kind of godly sort of soundtrack with, with with the gospel um and yeah the singing on here is just top notch uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go through every song because there's 24 tracks on this. Uh, but yeah, trust me, it's really good stuff in here. So there you go. Okay, we have another soundtrack. These two were both by Elton John. Elton John was heavily influenced by here. Uh, with, well, not, not influenced, but involved, I should say. Okay, this is probably his most famous one that he did. We have, of course, Disney's The Lion King. Yep, I mean it's one of Disney's biggest al not albums, biggest movies I should say, and for good reasons. It's one of their best films. To some people, it's even their absolute best. Um, but yeah, of course you have some of the songs from the film, and then you have Elton's versions of some of the songs. I know "Can You Feel the Love Tonight" won an Oscar and a Grammy. I know an Oscar, but probably not Grammy. I'm not sure about the Grammy part. Um, let's see, but of course. Yeah, Circle of Life. I just I just can't wait to be king. Uh, be prepared. Um, then you have then you have Hakuna Matata, which honestly I've never been a fan of that song. Uh, but yeah, Tim Rice also does the lyrics on here, which again he did Jesus Christ Superstars. A lot of connections on these soundtracks for some reason. But anyhow, yep. Now Elton did do another soundtrack again with Tim Rice. This is probably not as well known as Lion King, but I, I, I this is a movie I grew up watching, and, and I always enjoy, and I've enjoyed it as well. We have The Road to El Dorado. So this is a DreamWorks film. There he is. There's Elton right there. Yeah, very good stuff. I mean, some of the songs. Uh, probably the this song was. If you're not familiar with the El, Road to El Dorado or the music. Probably the biggest song that was on here was Someday Out of the Blue, which is kind of the theme for El Dorado. That's a good song. Yeah, go check that out if you haven't heard that one. Um, Randy Newman makes an appearance on here for some reason. Um, I mean, for some reason. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's some, of course, has the score. Uh, the Trail with Blaze is, is another good song from the film. Yeah. It's a good, it's good, really underrated film, I'd say, I'll say. 
k next we have two from phil collins yeah phil collins actually did two disney films this first one that he did is probably his most well known of course and that of course is tarzan yep i believe this is considered the last of their of disney's renaissance period where they were just coming out with just bangers and I hear some people who criticize Tarzan because they are not a fan of Phil singing all the songs uh, because it kind of takes away the musical the musical aspect of di what Disney films were. I don't know. I, I never be, it never bothered me. I mean, I, and of course, Phil Collins has a great voice anyway. And, you know, he's singing a lot of the inter what the characters are probably thinking, which, again, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but, of course, you have Two Worlds, which opens it. This great song, um, "You'll Be in My Heart," of course, was the big, big hit off here. Which, and again, won him an Oscar. Um, "Son of Man," great. Love the drumming on this one. I mean, this, it's no wonder Phil did, did, did the soundtrack because, again, when it comes, I believe this takes place in. I don't know, but it definitely has that sort of, uh, how you say, um, world type of thing. And of course, as a drummer course that's gonna of course Phil's gonna be attracted to that so he really put put a lot into this um, let's see what else um, trash in the camp which of course we don't know that scene um, and yeah there you go I think I showed the back already now this is another here's the other soundtrack that he did for Disney again not as well known but I still enjoy it of course we have brother bear Again, I hear a lot of same complaints on this one, but again, it doesn't really bother me. On, of course, uh, through look through my eyes, uh, Tina Turner actually makes an appearance on here. She sings "Great Spirits." Yeah, that's a good one. She really sounds great on that track. Rest in peace to her. Welcome is great. Um, there's two versions of Welcome. You have when it's, where it's just Phil, and then the other one where it includes the Blind Boys of Alabama, which I kind of prefer that version. And that's the version that's in the film. Um, then you have, of course, No Way Out, another great ballad. Of course, the, how they use it in the film is kind of, I will admit, it's kind of cheesy, but the song itself I, I, I really enjoy. And again, you have the score, of course. So yeah, it's a solid soundtrack. And of course, I saved the best for last. Some of you might be expecting this one because I show this quite uh, way more often than I should. Of course, you got Thomas the, Thomas the Magic Railroad. I mean, come on. It's Thomas the Tank Engine Man. <laughs> uh, see, again, I'm at that age where I know it's not a good movie, but I'm still going to I'm still going to have buy the soundtrack to it. Um, yeah, you know. You got you got some songs. Stephen Page from Bare Naked Ladies is on here. Sings he's a really useful engine, which I've shown in a previous video. Um, yeah, let's see. Shining time. I know how the moon must feel. Really good song. That's a really good song. Sung by Dana Manning. Don't know. I don't know if she's done anything else. Uh, the locomotion. You know that classic like '60s song. They, there's like a there's like a 2000 remix version of it on here. Which is kind of, again, not what I would expect in a Thomas film, but it was the early 2000s, so, I guess. Um, then you have the score, which I think the score is very good. Um, yeah, really nice stuff. Again, not the greatest film of all time, I will admit, but definitely a good nostalgic thing for me. And, there you have it. That is every studio uh, not studio very soundtrack album i have in my collection so like i said in the beginning uh let me know your thoughts which let me know what was some of your favorites that you saw here and of course let me know some of other some other soundtracks that you really enjoy i know there's a lot i'm missing out so looking forward to reading those of course give the video a like subscribe if you're new and until then i'll see you in the next video so take care and goodbye for now